Hey Virgo, I'm Lindsay from Lindsay with Love and I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm an energy coach and healer teaching my students where their energy is stuck in their chakra system. I provide a custom strategy on how to unstuck that energy, right? Release that energy. So then you can then raise your vibration and then use the laws of the universe, mainly the law of attraction, but many other laws, right? The law of attraction is just the one that everybody knows and talks about to your full advantage so you can truly create a life that you love, one that you're passionate and really excited about day in and day out. If you're interested in joining my program, you can click the first link in the description box below. If, however, Virgo, you're not quite ready, you're not quite sure what all this energy healing is about, but you think it sounds pretty cool, then click the second link in the description box below. It's called Free Chakra Review. And in that call, it's a 30 minute call, one-on-one, -on -one, you and I over Zoom, where we chat about what's going on in your life, where your energy is stuck. After that conversation, I tell you where your energy is stuck, what chakras to focus on, so that you can actually start to begin to release. I give you some helpful point pointers on how to start to release. And then the most beautiful thing is at the end of the call, I do give you a mini healing session, distant energy transfer, right? Distant energy healing session. Energy knows no bounds, no space, no time, no limits from me to you and all of my students have leave the call leave the calls feeling calmer, clearer, more excited, happier or they've released some tension maybe in the form of tingling or warmth, even some tears, right? Either way, you're going to feel better once you leave that call with me. So, that's the link in the that's the second link in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, this message is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising for June of 2022, and it is a general message, okay? So please take what resonates. If it doesn't, check out your rising sign or your moon sign. Check out all three to get a full picture, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, Virgo. The word I received while I was meditating on your energy was the word intrepid. I've had some really interesting words this month. I have no idea what's going on, but let's see what the guides had me writing out for the word intrepid. What a word, Virgo. <laughs> intrepid means fearless, adventurous. Nice word. Virgo, have you set out on an expedition? <laughs> what is happening in your world? The energy feels loving, exciting, adventurous. It definitely does not feel scary. Underlined, they're very serious. It does not feel scary. So whatever you're up to, Virgo, it seems like you'll be having some fun and adventure along the way. If you are nervous, rest assured, you're going to be just fine. Remember to call upon us and we will guide you when needed. Virgo, I mean, some of these messages I've really had to summarize, I've had to kind of dig into, but Virgo, this is really straightforward. I'm trying to think back on your last few messages. I think they've all been kind of more uplifting and more positive forward momentum. This one is no, um, no different, right? So th th remember that your guides are always with you. Your angels are always with you. Um, when you need to, call upon them, right? Meditate daily. How do, how do you connect with your guides? How, do I, how did all of a sudden I start hearing my higher self? I'll tell you. I started eating much cleaner, less, raw, less processed foods, more fruits and veggies raw, not a ton of dressings or anything like that. I meditate daily, I exercise daily, I think positively, I try to live in the present moment. When I'm not thinking positively, I'm like, wait, what was that? Let me rethink this, why did I think this? I get down, why, why did I feel that way? Why did I feel the need to say that? You know, I follow the four agreements. Always do your best, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions, um, oh boy. Number one, don't take things personally. Don't make assumptions, always do your best. I can't remember number one, but Virgo, you can look it up. It's called the four agreements. And um, what else do I do? You know, I always try to help people when I can. I follow my, my inner truth, my inner guidance. And when I started to do all those things, when I really focused in on my own energy, what made me feel good, what didn't, why it made me feel good, why it didn't. Then I really started to get into a wonderful alignment. And that's, anybody can do this. this I'm not some special person. Um, I'm maybe, maybe I figured it out sooner in my life, I'm not sure. 
Uh, but anybody can do this, Virgo, you're no exception. So when you're having those moments, maybe you're nervous, you're scared, remember the guides are here, remember you have that connection. Meditate, deep breathe, right? Ground yourself. There's so many tools out there to help you because you're having some fearless adventures. So don't second guess forward movement ahead Virgo. I can't wait. Let me know in the comments. If this is you and you're on some like exciting adventure, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to just like cheer you on and congratulate you. Plus I'm kind of curious. It's the Pisces in me. Okay. So Virgo, if you enjoyed this message, please consider subscribing. I do drop videos like this every single month as well as mid month. And in between I post videos every single week on energy healing, how to raise your vibration, how to manifest quickly, all things very spiritual. Okay. And please comment, subscribe, like, share, and I will see you all next week.